Um, at Three Towers, we always try within our classrooms to, to sit with the trauma-informed, the three principles of trauma-informed care. For the safe environment, we all the staff, you know, pride themselves on that because we, the minute they walk through Three Towers, there's staff around, they are safe, they're not in an environment where anything can happen to them. Even though it's a people referral unit and we do have children who are, you know, quite emotionally dysregulated, they do always feel safe and actually they they verbalise that to us and that that's something that they do feel safe yeah, about. Yeah. How would you create that kind of safe environment in the classroom? It's very nurture-based, nurture, nurture based, even across the core, the core subjects, I would say. Um, and our class sizes are small, which the children benefit from. So the, you know, their areas are really being addressed. But I think they feel safe because of what we talked about with the pen portrait, because each member of staff knows that child yeah. very, very well. Even though they may have only worked with them for a few weeks, we've got all that information. And we, can, we make them feel safe because we make sure that their environment is what they have wished for yeah. in school so they wish for a teacher with a sense of humour they've wished for a teacher who is more relaxed and so we give that to them and that straight away makes them feel in their own comfort zone um, emotional regulation is um, within the classrooms we have the children who they know where they can go when they're dysregulated they have got cars that they can um, leave the classroom and go to the zone in the zone they use that for emotional regulation they've got different coloured zones depending on how they feel um, and they use that to, to communicate with the staff um, just how they are feeling by sitting on different coloured chairs and that does work very very well in every session emotional literacy it, it's a core um, it's central to every lesson that they have. So the racial and connectedness, we've got five trauma-informed, um, fully trauma-informed staff who go on the 10-day course. Um, we are the mainstay of where those children can go and they know they can go to any of us. Um, but we also make sure that that information is passed on through CPD um, and so all staff are aware of the importance of being emotionally connected to the children, yeah. uh, to be an emotionally available adult basically and that they can come to them and say anything. Yeah. We won't be shocked, we, we will just we will not try to change it but try to make them be able to deal with that emotion in a more um, constructive way. We're quite repetitive with some of our expectations, so we always say, you know, are you, are you ready to learn? Are you in a place where you're going to be able to access this lesson? Yeah. Um, and that, again, that's going back to how they're feeling. Um, if they're in a moment of, of crisis, they're not ready to learn, so they know that they need to direct themselves to somewhere else, such as mm. the zone that we have, mm. um, to regulate themselves. Yeah. There's not a lot of rules either. So they know they can remember those rules. There's not lots and lots of things that they have to remember. There is just that being respectful and, like I said, just massive emphasis on positive reinforcement. Yes, yeah. as well. Yeah, absolutely. So it sounds like they know what's expected of them, and you know what to expect of yes, them. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. 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 absolutely. We're all for uplifting them. It's constant, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. We de-escalate constantly, yeah. but at the same time, we're turning that around to to build up their esteem. Excellent.